Scott is outside and he can see. Ooh. Happy Vlogmas! It's day three! Yes, so excited. My dad has been yelling at me for a fat minute to wrap Christmas presents. So today, I thought that's what we would do. I thought we would wrap Christmas presents together. How fun. So it's always my job to wrap the Christmas presents in my house. So, if you need to wrap Christmas presents, get your stuff, get all the necessities you need, your wrapping paper, your scissors, your tape, whatever. Get the presents, of course. And let's wrap together. Let's chit chat. It's finals week and I've been stressing. That's not good, but you guys saw the title. You already know what this is about. I'm gonna be sharing some childhood stories with you guys. So this is the present I'm getting for my sister. Yes, it's blurred out because um, she's gonna watch this and she can't find out until Christmas. That's the new theme of the video, Christmas traditions. A Christmas tradition in my family is we go to Gallup every year because that's where my mom's family lives. So we go there to spend Christmas Eve because our tradition is to open presents Christmas Eve at midnight, so I guess technically Christmas. And we have Santa come and he gives us our presents and we have a little chit chat. We sit on his lap, we're like, oh, hi Santa, thanks for my present. It's just really fun. And then Christmas day, we go back to Albuquerque and we celebrate Christmas with my dad's side of the family. But we all get together, we open up presents, we eat, we chit chat, whatever, catch up. And then we come back home and then we have Christmas as like a little family, us four. So that's always fun. In Gallup, there used to be this little boys and girls club right next to my grandma's house and they had this, um, well, I guess it's still there, but they had this gym, like a basketball court outside. And so during the winter, it would always get icy, like very, very icy. We would go inside and we would like ice skate on the ice that was there, like ice skate. But you know, it was fun. We always had a blast because we were together. At night, whenever it started to snow on Christmas, all the adults would used to let all the little children go outside and play in the snow. It was really fun. We would all get nice and cozy with our gloves and stuff. So I said fun a lot. And then every year, we would have um, girls versus boys gingerbread house contests. And I don't know whoever won. I can't really remember. I feel like, because you know how parents are, they can't really choose. So I feel like they were always biased. You know parents, they never choose anything that their kids do. So that was that. Um, I have this that I need to wrap, but I don't want to get a box for this. I just sat down, so can I just like wrap it like in a little ball? Oh, and this current Christmas tradition we have. My mom, she bought one of those elves on the shelf. You know what elves on the shelf are? If you don't, they're these things. And what they do is they come with a little book that says that they go to the North Pole every night and they report to Santa and then they come back every day in a new spot. So let's say you buy them and you put them on the Christmas tree. That night while you're sleeping, they go to Santa and then they come back and they're on the fireplace. So they end up somewhere different every day. So my little sister loves looking for them every day in the morning before school. She won't go to school if she doesn't find them. And then that same company, I think, made a little, like um, a microphone that you can talk to the North Pole through every December 1st, so my sister, she loves that too. She talks to them every day. Actually, I don't think she's talked to them today, so maybe I should remind her. And she really loves that. Oh, when do you guys put your Christmas tree up? We always put ours up Thanksgiving weekend or the week before Thanksgiving. And then we don't usually take it down to like Valentine's Day. Yeah, we're one of those people. My mom doesn't like to admit it, but we are. And I'm not ashamed of that. Gotta keep it festive. Also, where I live, it never snows. Okay, that's a lie. Maybe it snows once or twice a year. But it's never really like a lot of snow where you can build a snowman. Well, I guess you can never build a giant snowman. We rarely get any because we live in the desert, so that explains a lot. Also, I don't know if this is just me or if other people do this, but if you're giving presents to the same people, do you ever word them differently, like their names? Like if it's to your mom, would you put like to mom or to her name or two birth gear really on like different presents you ever do that no just me okay sorry i've only wrapped two presents and i'm tired it was two degrees today and i decided it would be okay to wear ripped jeans no that was not okay it was chilly outside my older sister she usually comes for Thanksgiving or Christmas sometimes. And it's pretty fun. We go ice skating with her every time she comes. When I was little, me and her used to just hang out because she didn't have a husband. She wasn't really close with my other sister, so me and her would always hang out when she came. And we would go do stuff. We'd always go to the mall. We'd always go 
rock climbing. It was so fun. But then she has a husband now. So I guess that's okay because we get double the presents. So he always tags along, but we just go ice skating now because Chubby's also comes. Sometimes my other brother comes from Oregon and we go ice skating with him. Um, it's just something my dad likes to do with his kids, I guess, go ice skating. Oh, other big news. If you guys didn't know, my dad was training for the Senior Olympics. It's like the Olympics, but for older people. And so my dad thinks it's the best thing ever because it shows more determination than the regular Olympics for him because he says when you're young and in your prime, it's easier to do better. But when you're old and your body's not that good, that it's even more harder to do better. So he tried qualifying here in Albuquerque, but he, he pulled his hammy and so he didn't get to finish the race and didn't qualify for anything. So then he went to Las Vegas with one of his friends and he qualified for the 200, which he wasn't so happy about because he doesn't like running distance. He'd rather do speed. So then he was supposed to go to San Francisco, but they canceled um, the entire events because of the fires that, were go that was going on in California. The place they were supposed to host the track events, they wouldn't... Oh yeah, my dad runs. Did I say that? They couldn't get the field, canceled the entire games. And instead, they decided just to qualify everyone who signed up. So my dad was so stoked to find out that he had qualified for everything he signed up for the 500 100 200 and 400 um, i was happy for him that he gets to run next june in albuquerque for the national games where everyone from the entire nation's coming um he's super excited because all his family's coming how long is this video that's kind of bad i only wrapped three presents that's all i had i thought i had more but all i had was three well that's the end for today's vlogmas day three it's finals week and i've been busy with school and swam because we have our first meet this weekend and i had time to film or edit so i'm sorry but thanks for watching this video comment down below your favorite christmas traditions if you have any but thank you so much for watching stay in school don't do drugs peace